What do you want? Okay, well, I want to start a business. Since he wants to play, he has to pay to play. The Next Door Podcast. Welcome back to the Next Door Podcast. I am Bestie Next Door, and I'm like your bestie next door. If you like your tea to be extra, extra sweet, then this place is not for you. Because we like our tea to be sweet and bitter. Sweet enough that it goes down, bitter enough to wake us up. Now, guys, I know I've been taking time to post episodes. I know. Just bear with me. Because I'm trying to find a system that works for me that is going to allow me to produce more content without me feeling like I'm draining myself. So what I concluded is this. I can produce a lot of audio content on Spotify, Google podcast and apple podcast but on youtube what i was thinking about was producing one visual episode once a week and then going live but that's what i think i'm going to start doing if you're not already following my podcast on apple podcast spotify google podcast amazon podcast all the podcast platforms i suggest you follow them now because i'm going to produce more audio it's easier for me to produce audio because i don't have to do the whole setup but anyway guys today we are having water i don't have the energy to have any sugar in my body i don't want to have a mocktail i don't want to have any alcohol i just want to have refreshing water because this conversation we need refreshment. So without further ado, let's pour us up our refreshment. And of course, first sip, refreshing. Now guys, if you're looking for the High Value Woman workbook, if you're looking for the High Value Woman audio book, if you're looking for a guide to get wifed up, if you're looking for how to get a man to spoil and sponsor you, if you're looking for how to ask a man for money that includes a seven-day feminine energy practice, you can find that all on OneSecretRoom.com. Guys, I am going to release the Level Up Guide. I know I said I was going to release it last month, but I'm going to release it sometime this month. The only reason why it's taking time is because I'm doing a bundle, audio and ebook. So the audio part is going to be more of the seduction part, and then and the ebook is going to be more about leveling up and things like that. But trust me, it's going to be worth it. It's not going to be that expensive. $24.99, I think that's a fair deal. Now, on today's episode, we're talking about side chicks. Because this is a very, very important topic. We're going to talk about being a side chick, what it is to be a side chick, and how to overcome being a side chick. But first of all, let's define what a side chick is. A side chick is a woman who carries that romantic relationship with someone who's already in a committed relationship. Now, I don't condone being a side chick because you need to value yourself more than trying to be someone side chick. But however, I'm Bestie Next Door and you know what I say. If we like our tea to be sweet and bitter. If you are currently playing a side chick role, you need to understand your position. I'm not telling you to be a side chick willingly, but if you know that you're not really interested in, you know, being that wife or girlfriend material, you need to be fun and exciting. See, I don't know if you guys know what happened recently with DeVito and this girl from New York. You know, she was a side chick to DeVito and, you know, DeVito got her pregnant and everyone knew that DeVito was married. So when she claimed that, oh, I didn't know he was married. Does it look like he was married? Sis, you knew he was married. Let me show you the story she posted. I just had to clear, you know, the story up and like let y'all know because y'all was like coming out my neck and I don't really like that. Stop coming at me. Um, God loves me. I'm very God fearing. I know what happened exactly. Um, I don't want to ruin anybody's relationship. Um, I don't want homegirl, which I didn't even know was pregnant right now, to be going through nothing crazy. Baby, I don't want your husband. I, I wish you well. On God, no cap. Like I'm not like that. Um, yeah, that's it. Now, girl, everyone knew that man was married, but that's besides the point. You were a side chick. Accept it. See, the problem with side chicks today is that side chicks today are not understanding their role. When you are a side chick, your duty is to make sure it's fun and exciting. It's fun and exciting for him, but at the same time, it's fun and exciting for you because you're getting all the benefits. You need to have a game plan. Don't come in as a side chick and think that, oh, I'm going to be the main chick. Don't come in with that intention. If you have the intention of being a side chick and trying to snatch a man away from his main chick because you want to be the main chick... Sweetie, karma does not have favorites. Hello. Because, you know, women like to have this thing where, oh, he didn't tell me he was in a relationship. You know you're a side chick when, first of all, number one, he cannot give you his undivided attention. Number two, he doesn't feel like he owes you an explanation. Number three, he only calls you when he wants to have fun. That's how you know you're his side chick. You shouldn't want to be someone's side chick, but if you're going to be a side chick, play your position the right way. 
you don't cause drama. Drama is not meant for side chicks. And the moment you feel like you don't want to be a side chick anymore, that's okay. Walk away from that situation. There are so many. You see, the thing is why I don't understand is I, there's one thing where you are a side chick and you really didn't know you were a side chick because to be honest, in all our lives, we can't even lie to ourselves. We all have been a side chick to a man without really knowing. But what dictates your value and who you are as a woman is when you willingly go after a guy that you know is in a relationship. Then that means you don't really value yourself that much because there's so many single guys right now looking to spend money on women but why would you willingly go after a married man why like it, it just doesn't make sense you get what i'm saying it doesn't make sense it's one thing if you had a fling and then it turned into something serious and you're like oh wow you found out he's married and you're like you know what i don't even want to get into this but then it's another thing where you know that you see a man is married you see he's happily in a relationship and you're deliberately going after him because let me tell you something see some women are delusional enough to believe that okay well if i can get next to him i can probably snatch him away from his girl but trust me the same way you get him is the same way you lose him. Hello. Now, if you're currently a side chick, how do you get over being a side chick? First of all, number one, the first thing you need to do is ask yourself, are you okay with being the other woman? Because if you're okay with being the other woman, you cannot have any emotions attached. That's the thing. When you, I want you to really understand this because I'm, pay, I'm playing devil's advocate. I don't want to point any finger at a woman who may be a side chick currently, but I also want to give you game where you kind of understand that, okay, um, I'm a side chick and I need to have a plan. It's either you want to be a side chick or you don't want to be a side chick, period. It, there's no in between. There's no, oh, I'm, you want to be a side chick or you don't want to be a side chick. I'm going to play both sides. Now, if you want to be a side chick, you need to know when you want the relationship to end. You can't go into that relationship blindly like, you know, I'm just having fun. You know, I'm just going with the flow. No, because the moment you go with the flow is the moment you're going to get played and everything is going to fall in your face because you know what's going to happen? You're going to start getting emotionally invested. Once he realizes that you're emotionally invested, then he's going to start playing with you. And when he plays with you, he's never going to leave his wife or his main girlfriend for you. Always have that at the back of your mind. So who's going to end up heartbroken and sad and depressed and hating men? You. So have in your mind when you want the relationship to end, number one. Number two, what do you want to gain from this relationship? Now, what do I mean by what do you want to gain? Because clearly you're not trying to gain the spot of being the wife or the girlfriend, right? What do you want? Okay, well, I want to start a business. Since he wants to play, he has to pay to play. So yeah, I need a business or I need these bags, or I need him to polish me enough so I can get a man that I really want. For example, you may want him to take you shopping because you want to upgrade your closet. You may want him to pay your rent for a few months because you want to save up some money because you want to do something with your money. That's important. Have a plan. Never go in any side relationships with no plan because the moment you go in with no plan, like I mentioned before, you are going to be the one left in the dark, heartbroken. Hello. Now, let's talk on the other side. Now, if you're not really interested in being a side chick and you just found out you're a side chick and it's hurting you really bad, the first thing you need to do is confront him and ask him, first of all, number one, did I look like I want to be a side chick to you? Do I look like a woman that wants to be the side piece? Do I look like I want to be mashed potatoes? Can't you see I'm the full steak? You confront him. You let him know, sweetie, I am not mashed potatoes. I am the steak. And if you are not going to be on me like A1 sauce, next caller. I am no sides to nobody. Hello. And you cut him off. You know what usually put women in trouble when they find out they're a side chick and then they confront him? Is they say, I want closure. Oh, I want to know what how he feels. I'm emotionally invested. Sis, you don't need no closure. But the moment you find out you are the side chick and you didn't know... You don't need closure. That's the closure that you needed. You don't need to sit there and ask him, oh, how you felt about me? Well, I'm in love with him. Sis, don't be playing tug of war with a married man or a man who's already in a serious relationship because he's not going to leave his serious, committed relationship for you. You were just supposed to be fun. That's it. And once you realize that and you identify, well, I'm more valuable than that and I want to be a main to a man, then just cut him off. Just come, just completely come off. Forget about your feelings because don't worry. Eventually, your feelings for him will fade. But you have to get to the point where you value yourself enough that you know that you being a side chick and you having fun and being exciting is not what you're in for. I value having committed relationships. I value marriage. So respectfully, dismiss yourself from that equation because it's going to get messy. The moment you start getting 
emotionally attached to a man who's married or in a serious relationship is going to start getting messy. Look at Chris Sean Rock and Blueface, for example. She was a side chick to Blueface, and then eventually, because he was making money with her, he made her the main chick for a little while. But now, look at what's going on now. You get what I'm saying? So, let me tell you something. Karma and the universe has a way of biting you back in the butt when you try to bite somebody else. So, these are the things I want you to take away from this episode. Number one, never deliberately go after a married man. You know, some girls have this thing where married men spend the most, and I like that because I don't have to be committed to him. Trust me, you will be a wife one day and you don't want to be the wife that's crying. Never deliberately go after a married man. Never. It's never going to end well. Number two, what are your values? If you're not currently at the point in your life where you're just trying to have fun and be exciting, then don't even look into being a side piece at all. Don't even look at it at all. And the moment you find that you are, leave immediately because there's no way that you're going to pull that man away from his main chicks. Number three, if you want to be a side chick and you're looking to just have fun and you don't care about being committed to anyone, have a plan. What is your plan, sis? What are you looking to gain? That's what you need to have in the back of your mind. Because let me tell you something. Men know how to play the game. They know how to have multiple relationships with a woman and wait for it to all crash down. So you don't want to be on the ship when it's crashing down. You want to be somewhere else, maybe on an island with his money, flexing, you know, having a good time with the things you gain from that relationship. So have in the back of your mind two things. What's my goal? And I should never, ever catch feelings for a guy that I'm playing the side chick road to, ever. Hello. Oh, before I end this episode, a one important tip too, if you're trying to recover from being a chick, is take time to yourself and think about the whole relationship and process the, the red flags that you ignored so that when you get back in the dating field, you don't repeat the same mistakes again and repeat the same hurt. Now, guys, I'm going to leave you with that. If you're listening on Google Podcasts, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you're listening from, thank you for, if you're watching on YouTube, thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell to be notified when I upload more episodes. And guys, one more thing you are on youtube and you're not following the podcast on apple podcast spotify google podcast amazon podcast i suggest you do that right now because i'm going to be posting more audio content and i'm going to only post one video a week and i'm probably going to go live on youtube so if you want to hear my thoughts because i'm really going to be posting more about different events that's happening you know reading people's stories things like that follow me on those podcast platforms and guys you already know the rest until we meet again